Now that we've created some parameters for the style and size of our assembly, let's add another parameter for the price of the product based on the customer's choices. Here you can see inside the parameters dialog, we've established the price based on the number of tiers, size of the kettle, and the burner. Let's include the option for casters. I've already created a rule for pricing in the iLogic browser. Here we can create if, then, else logic statements for the choices in the catalog. If the parameter casters equals true, then caster price equals 50, else caster price is zero. At the bottom, total price is equal to dollar sign in quotes, ampersand, then add up all the values for each choice that impacts the price of the final assembly. Once the design has been uploaded to Configurator 360, you can see that the total price is updated instantly when the caster box is checked. Be sure to watch the next video on changing the appearance of your models in your Configurator 360 catalog.